hello everyone and welcome back to the channel i hope you are doing absolutely well guys in today's video we are going to do tcs mba 6th april exam analysis okay we are going to see some important learnings from that exam and i will be telling you some important tips given by the candidates who have appeared for the exams on 6th of april so guys just in case if you are going to have your upcoming exam on either 9th of april or in future this video is going to be helpful or if you are a candidate who has given their exam on 6th of april this video is going to be helpful for them also because i will be sharing some of the analysis of what has happened in the exam what can be your expected results and what you need to do going forward okay so we, there will be a lot of discussion in this video and there will be some tips and tricks for all of you guys so make sure that you watch the video patiently till the end because you will get to know something new only okay before we start the video if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel as i regularly post these kinds of helpful videos for all of you on daily basis and not just these kinds of preparation material but also off campus drives for mba graduates and all so make sure to check those videos it will be helpful for that for you also okay and there is a complete playlist on my channel related to tcs mba you can check those videos also it will be helpful at some point of time let's get started with first thing so now guys uh first of all let's start with sh by sharing the test pattern that what is going to be your test pattern for tcs mba so see guys uh, the test pattern is going to be mm, like uh, you will be having three sections okay verbal ability numerical ability and business aptitude in verbal ability you will get seven questions in numerical ability you will get 20 questions and business aptitude you will get 20 questions duration of the exam is going to be 19 minutes uh, roughly if i remember the exam uh, timing for the questions was like this one you will get 15 minutes and this one around 38 minutes and uh, this one also around 38 minutes okay so yeah so like the overall duration is 90 minutes and you will have questions based on three different sections that are these okay verbal numerical and business aptitude moving on now guys i have taken some of the comments from the videos recently which i have got and i want to make few things clear because you know i have felt that it might be very confusing for all the candidates who are going to have their examination in future okay uh, so see guys i have seen that this one girl she has commented a lot on multiple videos first of all let's read the comment and the like you know what was the comment about so see she has replied guys i comment you you to not read this because today i attended the assessment round and it is full of theories about labor law and hr questions that too not basic one please don't make some mistakes same mistakes as i did see guys first of all this girl has made a mistake by not understanding the exam pattern only see guys there were two hiring i clearly told you in multiple videos it was tcs mba hiring okay if one who has watched my videos properly they must have be, have been aware of everything okay and the other was tcs mba hr hiring okay this was specific to hr the second one and this was for everyone who has done the mba from different backgrounds either be it finance hr whoever can apply for those and we were preparing from our videos uh, like through our videos for this hiring and not for hr okay i have multi i have already told multiple times in the videos that for hr it is a total different uh, like you know background itself in one of the videos i even explain what is going to be the questions that is going to come uh, the duration of the exam is going to be 90 minutes but it is not going to be numerical aptitude and all it is totally going to be background from hr questions that to theoretical questions will come i have told you but if you have not watched it and now you are misguiding others by saying this because you know now the other candidates who are coming and reading this comment they are thinking that the pattern of the exam is only different no guys understand pattern is going to be this only but you have to understand which hiring you have applied for if you have applied for tcs mba general hiring which means you are going to get this pattern and if you have applied for hr hiring then this is not going to be the pattern for you and you know in one of the previous videos i even told uh, all the candidates that whoever has applied for tcs mba hr hiring should dm me over insta dm because i have some material in which the syllabus is there i was not about the i was not sure about whether it is the exact one or not that is why i have not told that in my videos okay i i was just having it some uh, material via via okay that's why i told you whoever wants that material can dm me and many like like literally 50 candidates uh, from tcs mba hr hiring have dm me over instagram and they knew that i have even shared that pdf with them uh, about the syllabus and they they know that you know it was all about that hr concepts and theory theories only so it was totally clear case and i just don't know why this mis uh, you know misleading comment on different videos i can't even go on every single video and remove this comment because i know it will be very confusing and misleading for all the candidates who are going to appear for tcs mba hiring in the future then you can even re uh, like you know uh, read the replies over her comments uh, see see like here people are getting confused okay you gave the exam today what was the pattern of the exam and all because they feel that okay the candidate has given the exam recently which means they will be telling correct only right but see 
हियर समर इवन करेक्टिंग हर दैट यू नो गाइस सी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट एमबीए एचआर हायरिंग प्रोसेस व्हिच टेस्ट वाज कनेक्टेड बाय टुडे कनेक्टेड टुडे नॉट एमबीए हायरिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी कनेक्टेड टुमारो सी इट वाज टोटली डिफरेंट एचआर वाज डन ऑन 5th ऑफ अप्रैल एंड नॉर्मल एमबीए हायरिंग वाज डन ऑन 6th ऑफ अप्रैल ओके एंड सी here many are saying please don't misguide others i have seen other videos also so guys i don't have much time to reply every single comment but i usually read the comments and i feel that some of the comments needs to be answered because it is misguiding right and see here also someone has replied please don't believe the first comment which is saying that i don't recommend you to read this the pattern of the exam was same as discussed here he is the savior some similar to the questions that are shown here were asked in the exam so try to watch the videos once in order to get a glimpse of the test all the best for the exam for business aptitude section we can accept expect a mix of questions from field like finance hr marketing operations as well as strategic management so those who have clearly watched the videos and those who have attempted the exam they know everything for them it is not the thing but this is for all the candidates who are going to appear for in future because i don't want you guys to get misled by these types of comments okay because a lot of comments from hr backgrounds are coming okay and they don't even know that they have a totally different exam itself okay they are different from the normal mba hiring okay see again here also guys tcs mba assessment was completely different so do prepare according to it there uh, were questions about only about labor laws and hr policy see guys just by reading the comments itself you can understand that the candidate is from hr background and they are talking about hr hr you know exam and i don't know why are they even commenting on these videos because these are not meant for hr candidates i even clearly told and about hrm related questions all 59 questions were theory based and see you even know that in uh, in your case you will not get 59 questions in your case you will get 47 questions right because for hr it was 59 questions in uh, but for normal mba hiring it was 47 questions what we studied during our academic years compensation acts labor laws or this is the complete syllabus of hr okay hr mba so that's why again this i recommend you to not read this because i attended the assessment round it is full of theories about labor law hr questions and you know uh, the pdf which i am talking about hr syllabus for those who have asked me the pdf there and those who have prepared from that in that syllabus it was all mentioned but that's why i'm saying you guys are mixing two things this one is hr comments and this one is the other one okay see here someone is saying i had the exam today it was good same pattern as you said just let me know when should i expect the result to be out for today's exam so guys for result uh, you know it might take some time okay we are also not too sure it might take around two to four weeks but i would say that if you feel that you are you are confident enough you should start preparing for your interviews okay because interviews also keeps a having are having a role okay because based on your interview performance also there is chances that you can get rejected so and guys let me know in the comment section if you want interview preparation videos i will post that too okay yeah okay so this is the best comment that i have received because you know i have asked the candidates uh, that you know once you come back from the exam please like you know if possible comment down the you know pattern or the syllabus so yeah someone has commented here let's see the pattern okay they have mentioned that from verbal ability comprehension two questions came correction of sentences two questions came sentence arrangement like a b c d two questions for that came okay and we know that for our availability around seven questions were there so you got a complete idea of what kinds of questions are going to come then coming to aptitude uh we had the questions from based on boats and stream two questions speed and distance one question ages one question mixtures and allegations one question simple and compound interest two questions clock one question and percentage one question average one question so you can see the topics basically you can understand because see aptitude you can't prepare full but if you know the uh, you know topics you can prepare basic formulas and you can appear in that way now coming to business aptitude so there were straight definitions uh, three questions around that formula related two questions okay now see business aptitude and aptitude you might feel that okay she has not told see guys she has or he has whoever has commented this one they have commented based on their knowledge whatever they remembered okay but as i told you you will get 20 questions from this area and 20 questions from this area but whatever they remember they uh, like commented that much okay and i highly appreciate this thing okay because it will be very helpful for all the candidates who are going to going to appear in future and she has clearly like they have clearly told there are some models these are some models as per my knowledge okay all the best guys so thanks a lot for this comment and uh, yeah let's see further more details so now see uh, what is the total uh, like you know complete understanding is for business aptitude the concepts that one of the candidates that they have shared is it was related to economics like statement was given and the questions was that who gave that particular statement then some questions were from statistics related to chi square testing like what kinds of variables are there and then one question was based on equation of change okay like abc greater than r kind of equation which like uh, i have learned in organizational development so that's what i told you like business aptitude was all about your mba knowledge okay that's what i was even 
telling you in other videos also that i am sharing some you know basic uh, pra uh, practice questions but you can attempt this part only if you have good knowledge of your mba not, uh, like mba studies which you have done in your like you know post graduation okay here is some other, another like you know one of the candidates they also shared uh, in uh, about the business aptitude syllabus okay finance problems they got two to three questions Com uh, contribution margin ratio covid developed by this type of question came then important theories and research in business model related questions marketing related four to five questions hrm related two to three questions and recent trends in entrepreneurship related questions and this is all about business aptitude okay and uh, we are not talking about any other faction in this slide only business aptitude so if you have any doubts still please pause the video read it whatever is written on this slide and you will understand if you have basically done mba so you will understand that uh, what it is about so these types of questions basically is going to come in your business aptitude round okay moving on now let's see finally important notes which are there okay uh, for all of you guys who are going to appear for the exam in the upcoming week or in the upcoming months see for, uh, first of all test is going to be in center seats will be allotted on a first come first serve basis there will be no negative marking for the exam so if possible try to appear for all the questions no calculators are allowed and no on screen calculator were also not there okay so you can you have to assume that you will not get any calculators you have to solve the questions by yourself and uh, some candidates mentioned that in their center the sheets were given a bit late for you know solving the questions actually pre initially they were told that you won't get any extra rough sheet for solving the question but after like five to seven minutes uh, they were told that yeah you will get a sheet and it was like basically the sheets were given a bit late okay to the candidates but yeah like if you are going to appear for the exam you can definitely ask for the sheets because you know sheets are definitely allowed from tcs side it was just that that center was not having a knowledge of it and they got to know later and that's why they have given it later okay yeah next is verbal ability was basic but quants and aptitude was tough in 6th april's exam but uh, this cannot be the scenario always uh, chances are there in the upcoming exam quants section can be easy but yeah this was the case in the 6th april exam coming to business aptitude so in business aptitude the questions were related to finance supply chain and marketing and management based okay keep all your original documents ready okay just in case if you get selected for the interview that will be needed and no mobile phones were allowed you can take your mobile phones and bags and they will be dedicated place you can keep it there okay but uh, it will be on solely your responsibility and here is the help desk email id just in case if you have any doubts you can you know email them chances are very rare that you will get a reply but just in case uh, if you have a doubt you can send an email so guys i hope i have tried to cover everything possible if you have any more doubts please put them in the comment section you can join me on telegram channel and you can follow me on instagram as well you can ask your queries over insta dm too make sure to subscribe to the channel as it is going to be super helpful for you as i always post uh, upcoming uh, off campus dice videos also for you that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video and i will see you next time